There's a huge anti-vax movement in the United States. Many Americans are simply refusing to get vaccinated for COVID-19. So we figured it wouldn't be too long before the White House started pointing at the usual suspects. Russia and China have promoted their own vaccines through messaging that undermines Western origin vaccine de development programs. So, uh, you know, that is more than just competition about vaccines. The risk and impact there is that this type of information magnifies, uh, you know, the risk of potential side effects associated with Western vaccines. This is what, they're, what, what the information, some of this misinformation is doing. It seems like what the White House spokesperson is saying is that reporting on the findings of U.S. federal agencies is somehow disinformation because it was the U.S. Food and Drug Administration that came forward and recently warned about the Johnson & Johnson single-dose COVID-19 vaccine and the fact that it could actually cause Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is an autoimmune disorder that attacks the nerves and could result in paralysis. Now, these cases have been rare, but this is according to the Food and Drug Administration, the U.S. federal government agency. Now, it was officials in Denmark who recently suspended the use of the Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca vaccines, citing possible harmful effects. But apparently, that's disinformation, even though it came from the Danish Ministry of Health. Uh, it's also worth noting that on this accusation of competition, the main reason that people traveled to Russia to get the vaccine was simply because they didn't want to wait for months to be vaccinated. Here's what they said. In Italy, uh, people of my age are scheduled uh, to be vaccinated after the summer, so uh, very far. I decided to make uh, the vaccination in, uh, in Moscow. Now, when it comes to damaging information about the vaccines, the White House has certainly made quite a few gaffes themselves. Take a listen. We are quite focused on communicating directly with those people, hence our special guest today, uh, about why it's important to get vaccinated, why these vaccines are safe, why uh, they can still kill you, even if you are under the age of 27. We need to be clear and direct about our messaging. I guess that's what the Biden administration considers to be direct messaging. Well, multiple cases of severe side effects have been reported, you'll know, from COVID uh, vaccines. One such example is Angelia DeSalle's case, which first came to global attention after she received the Pfizer job in January. You may find a warning some of the following images distressing. Angelia's son shared the videos on Facebook showing his mother shaking violently in hospital post-vaccination. He said she suffered severe convulsions soon after getting the shot in Louisiana. Speaking to RT, Angelia said she had no prior significant health issues and claims the U.S. government is turning a blind eye to people like her. Had I known that I would have lost the use of my legs and would have been paralyzed, I never would have taken it. There was never... The no informed consent whatsoever about the side effects that I have had. There is definitely not enough of awareness about, hey, this could happen to you. Those full body convulsions, tremors, brain fog has stayed with me. I'm six and a half months out now. I still have not recovered. If I do not take the ivermectin daily, my symptoms come right back. We are completely brushed aside, um, and I think that's only because our government is trying to get to herd immunity, and they're not going to address us or acknowledge us until they reach their goal of vaccination. <laughs> Professor of Infectious Diseases William Schaffner believes people must be made aware of all potential side effects so they can make balanced decisions. When you educate the population, you have to tell them all about the benefits of the vaccines, and you must be very clear about the side effects also, so they're not surprised and disappointed. Every vaccine, any vaccine that we use has side effects. Fortunately, most of the side effects are very brief. They're very mild. There are occasional rare, serious side effects. We must know about them and we must be transparent about them so that the people who come forward for receiving the vaccines can make a clear choice.